So for the past few weeks, I've been testing out the Crystal Eye Dripper and after a bit of trial and error, as well as many, many, many cups of coffee, I've come to what I'll call my current favorite recipe or brewing technique, depending on what you want to call it for this particular dripper. Now, of course, there isn't a singular best recipe when it comes to brewing coffee, because depending on what you like, be it more sweetness, more clarity, more astringency, more mouthfeel, things of that nature, you will need to change certain factors of your recipe. So this kind of boils down to personal preference. That being said, this is basically my current favorite recipe and I'll be sharing that with you. So in today's video, we brew some coffee. What you'll need, as with any freshly brewed cup of filter coffee is, your dripper of choice, a vessel to brew into, some filter paper, a weighing scale, and a timer. Some scales come with a timer function built into it, but if you don't own one, just like me, your phone will do just fine. Also, needless to say, you'll need some good coffee. I recommend grinding it fresh if possible, but if not, especially with how things are in the world right now, then well, just use the best you can find. As for grind size, what you'll want is the texture of semi coarse sand or kosher salt. Begin by folding and placing your filter paper onto the dripper. I usually give it a rinse under the tap to help the paper adhere better to the sides of the cone. This also lets me adjust the paper if I need to without burning myself. Next, preheat the brewer and rinse the paper with some hot water. I'll be using water that's 94 degrees Celsius. If you're using a regular kettle, then just boil your water normally. It would have cooled down by the time you're done with this step. Toss out the water and pour your coffee into the brewer. For this brew, I'm using 20 grams of coffee with a 1 to 15 ratio. This means that for every 20 grams of coffee, I'll be pouring in 300 grams of water. Give it a few taps to level out the grounds and make a small hole in the middle. Zero your scale and we can begin brewing. Pour in about two times the weight of coffee and water and give everything a swirl. Do your best to wet all the grounds here. Let everything bloom for about 30 seconds. Next, slowly pour in 50 grams of water in a small circular motion around the center, sinking any dry or floating bits. Let it drain till the one minute mark. Repeat the step and let it drain till the 1 minute and 30 mark. Pour in the next 50 grams and let it drain till the 2 minute mark. Do this once again till the 2 minute and 30 second mark. Pour in the last 50 grams. Give everything a swirl to knock off any bits stuck to the side of the paper and let it drain fully. In total, this should take about 3 minutes. Give your serving vessel a good swirl or a mix with a spoon and proceed to pour out and enjoy your freshly brewed cup of coffee. And there you have it, my current preferred way of brewing with the Crystal Eye Dripper. So how exactly did I end up with this method? Well, without boring you guys with too much detail, I basically found that the usual brewing method that I was using when it came to using the V60 just wasn't giving me the overall clarity, complexity, and sweetness that I wanted in a cup of coffee. So TLDR, I leveraged off some of the principles and concepts from the Tetsu method, also known as the 4060 method, and that's basically how I ended up here. Yes, I know this may sound super confusing or super foreign to people who are not into coffee or people just getting into it. Not to worry, for those interested, I will be covering this in a later video, so stay tuned for that. Or for those of you watching at a later date, the video may already be up and I'll leave a link in the description or in a title card somewhere up there. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, remember to like and share the video with all your friends and family. Also, for those of you who are new to the channel or haven't done so already, consider subscribing because it really helps the channel. And for your efforts, here's a picture of a baby koala. <coughs> Lastly, let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite brewing techniques or favorite brewers. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. But for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.